out everybody Amanda here this is day six of my feel the fear public filming challenge and I can't believe I'm almost done tomorrow will be my last day I'm honestly kind of grateful because I need to get to making and editing other videos um, and these are taking up some of that time so I am happy though that I have done this I'm still feeling really good about this experience and what all I have learned just about myself. Um, you know, some of the lessons, I guess, that I'm taking away from all of this is truly that nobody cares. Like, you can be doing the wackiest, craziest thing and 10 minutes from then, like, no one will remember that you were doing that thing. So, um, that's honestly really comforting to me. I've also really kind of started learning to embrace it like okay cool yeah my life is interesting and I am on YouTube and I do have a community of creators who want to know what I'm up to and want to talk to me so just more and more embracing that and recognizing that it is kind of neat and it is interesting and different I mean I have or had straight it out now it's like rainbow hair for a reason right so, um, anyways, I wanted to come out here with my family. We're taking a little pit stop, and there's some cool and interesting um, architecture all around us. But this particular building, you might never guess what it is. like being on camera right yeah so it comes naturally to some of us others not so much so here we are outside of a McDonald's interesting story about McDonald's this is one of the first restaurants we were ever told to by a Serbian to go eat at and that's quite interesting right because you would think why would anybody visiting a foreign country want to eat at a McDonald's however Serbia has a very uh, healthy food culture and really good quality meats and produce and so even their mcdonald's are abiding by these rules um so their food is actually pretty decent so we have tried it a few times actually and it's been really good um much much better than the quality you can find in the united states which is unfortunate because <laughs> it costs more for us and then it's worse food. So anyways, um, we are going to continue our journey. Were you successful? Yeah, successful? Okay, good. So let's head up this street here. Okay, so we're going to start walking back to our apartment and I'm going to continue filming for just a little while longer. Um, the fall colors are really starting to come in a bit here in Belgrade so that's quite nice being able to see the leaves turn um, in this city environment what else do I want to say day six um, oh kitty oh kitty's camera shy are you camera shy kitty <laughs> Hi kitty. That's always fun. Surprise cats. I love cats. Um, okay, yeah, so let's see. Let me not make this a travel vlog and actually talk about creative stuff. Oh yeah. So um one thing that I did do today is set some boundaries because content creation takes up a lot of my time editing videos takes up time filming videos takes up time um, and I can tend to let my other things that I want to create like my novels kind of go on the back burner so I said no more absolutely not uh, I need to set some some boundaries there with my projects 
And so I carved out two hours today to go to a cafe and to write and only write and work on my novel, which I did. And it felt amazing. It felt amazing. And I think the reason it felt amazing was because I knew that that was my special precious time and so I valued it more. So I really applied myself during that time. And I honestly didn't want to stop when my two hours was up. However, I think it was Hemingway once said that you should leave, you should leave your work in progress still hungry for the page. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, embody that advice and walk away even though it still feels like, ooh, I want to write just a little bit more because that excitement you're going to carry with you into the next day or whenever the next time you create and you'll be like, oh yeah, we were at the good part. It was just about to get good, right? So as far as writing is concerned, sorry. There's construction everywhere here. Um, as far as writing is concerned, that works. But I think too, it would apply to any creative medium, you know? You wanna, first of all, respect your time, structure your time, set some boundaries, give yourself that little bit of permission to only work on what you wanna work on and make use of that, you know, really, set aside everything else for that period of time and just get it done. So that was really fun. I'm glad I did that. I'm going to start doing that every other day. And I feel really good about that. And the reason I'm choosing every other day is because I have started to really embrace uh, video editing as another one of my creative mediums. So letting myself have that time to edit in a fun way, in a way that makes me feel really good about the content that I'm putting out. Um, so that's what I'll be doing on the days where I'm not writing. And otherwise we'll see how it goes, but um, hopefully this, I'm kind of walking past like a, I don't know, it's like a military bu building or something, there's armed guards, so I should probably put the camera away before they're like, what are you doing? Um, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Tomorrow is the final day of my seven day Feel the Fear Challenge uh, to get over my fears of filming and taking pictures in public. I hope that you are taking it upon yourself to create your own Feel the Fear Challenge. And if so, let me know in the comments, how's it going? What did you challenge yourself to do? Um, I'm really curious to hear what you all are afraid of and how you are taking a bold step in the direction towards your creative dreams by overcoming that fear. All right, well, I will see you next time. Oh, and if you want to know more about my creative process, let me know also in the comments because I'm thinking about maybe doing some videos on, I mean, just me as a writer and how I write and how I work and maybe like the books that I find really good for writing. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing, let me know and I'll do some videos on that as well. Okay, I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.